be transformed by the renewal of your faith that you may live in the perfect will of the Lord. I envy you, Mr. Schuler. Listen, I came out here to let you know what's going to happen. Excuse me, Mr. Schuler, I'm Jim Sandler. Yes, I know. So the four men are going to be brought into court next week to be charged, and then sometime later there's going to be a trial. You see, maybe if there had been a trial or two way back, then things wouldn't have gotten to this. You know, the violence wouldn't have kept growing. Oh, that's your oldest, isn't it? Is it Rachel? Hi. Listen, the sheriff and I were wondering... He's a good man. Yes, he's a good man. I did some carpenter work, helped him put on the new room for the baby. Well, we were wondering if... So I'd like a chance to talk to Rachel. What for, Mr. Sandler? Well, I'm going to need her testimony and yours when the case is tried, so that you can put them in jail. Well, what happens to them isn't up to you and me. It's up to a jury. Rachel, give this to your brother. And to go inside the house with him. But if the boys did it, their parents should tell them to speak the truth. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works in my kingdom. That's the way we would do it. Well, there's still a chance that one of them might. Um, the sheriff's been talking to Teddy Johnson's mother, but we can't count on it. Rachel has nothing to say to you, Mr. Sandler. Mr. Schuller, that she night... She has nothing I... to say. You know, the law is something that we're all responsible to uphold. When the Philistines spoiled Isaac's well, the Lord said not to seek vengeance, but to dig new wells. And he would find water abundant. I cannot change what I believe, nor can I ask my children to change. For 300 years, we have been taught to believe in a higher power than man's. It has been our salvation in an alien world. I'm sorry, but you had to come all this way for nothing. Is Rachel's? How did you find it? Fixing one of the Chevrolet's irrigation gates down the creek yesterday. She must have lost it. Hmm. Or threw it away. It's hard for Rachel. <laughs> The Amish don't want it. The town doesn't. What do you want, Sue? I want... I want a good life for us and the kids. I want good friends like Homer who like us and respect us. I want to stay here. I want the kids to grow up here. It's not going to come to that. We must go to different churches. Oh, what? Bill Ames? And everyone else. No, Susie, it isn't the whole town. I hope not. No. I was making more money in Chicago. We spent every penny. Great apartment. Theater, Wrigley Field, trips. To get away from the city? Trying to get two kids in a stroller on a bus every day to go to the park. And, and 
triple locks on the doors. We don't have to lock our door here. That alone means a lot to me. That signifies a lot. So do you think that what I'm doing is wrong? No. Do you think that I'm being obstinate? No, but did you listen to what Homer well, was yeah, saying? Well, yeah, it's not his job it? anymore. It's mine. I, I mean, maybe sometimes I wish it wasn't, but I, I'm not going to kick the case under the carpet because some people don't want to face... Some people. Some people, a lot of people, they don't want to face what they've let go on here. You know, I wasn't prepared for it either. A lot of garbage. I don't think so. No, I mean that. Roy B. Bowman, Philip S. Carr, Paul A. Cooper, and Theodore B. Johnson. Information for reckless homicide as deposed and sworn to by Sheriff Stephen Woodman of Fulham County. Now, I want to make clear to you this is not a trial. This is a preliminary hearing. The order of business for a preliminary hearing is for you four boys and your lawyers to hear the charges brought against you by the county prosecutor, as just read by the clerk of court, and to decide what you want to do. Mr. Bowman, how do you plead to the charge entitled Information for Reckless Homicide? Guilty, not guilty, or do you stand mute? Not guilty. Mr. Philip Carr? Yes, Your Honor. Do you wish to have more time to consult with Mr. Baxter before entering your plea? No, thank you, Your Honor. We plead not guilty. <laughs> Mr. Cooper? How do you plead? Sir. Not guilty. Mr. Johnson. How do you plead? What do you think? I talked some more with his mother last night. Yeah. You do want to plead, don't you? Uh, Your Honor. <clears throat> Not guilty? I'll consult with prosecution and defense lawyers in my chambers about setting the trial date. Your Honor. Yes, sir. I respectfully ask that you entertain a motion for dismissal of all charges against my client. On what grounds, Mr. Baxter? Insufficient evidence. Nothing that I have seen links my client or the others in any way whatsoever with the death of Esther L. Schuller. Any statements they may have made while in custody are, of course, inadmissible. Besides, who knows how many others were out on the roads that night? Out claping? <clears throat> well, I'm not as familiar with the term as you seem to be, Jim, but uh, I'm told that there's hardly a man in the county who didn't go out claping one time or another when they were kids. Your Honor, about that motion for dismissal. Motion denied. But you sure have a good line of defense there, Counselor. Yeah, I'll put uh, Cooper and Carr on trial first. They were the two in the back of the truck that actually threw at the Schuler buggy. Allegedly, that is. Mr. Sandler, are you going to ask for a change of venue because of the feelings... Absolutely not. I want the trial held here. Well, does the presence of the famous Richard Baxter in any way change your approach to the case? Why should it? That was County Prosecutor Jim Sandler. This is Monica Schaefer reporting for WXII-TV, Winston-Salem. Hi, Sue. Hi. Sorry I'm late. I had to go for stuff with Steve. You didn't figure there was any sense in waiting. Glad you didn't. Did you eat? You want me to make you something? Kids okay? Mm hmm When's the trial? Six weeks. You coming up? In a minute. 